everybody and all. Welcome back to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and I've got a really fun, fun show for you guys. Um, today we're going. Oops, sorry. <laughs> today we're going to be doing my uh ranking video of my top seven. Now, one of them I can't find right now. I don't know where it ended up, and I'm really kind of weirded out about that. It might be under my bed somewhere or something. But um, I have a uh a movie that the case for some reason is no longer around here so uh we're missing it all right um but i'll let you know what that is when we get to it uh when we would get to it um so uh these are the ranking of the movies that i watched this month of march um and so this is april that this comes out but this is the month of march and um number seven because i only watched seven so it's my top seven so my number seven one Kind of my lowest one. It wasn't. It wasn't a bad movie, and I'm going to be doing a review of it for horror film lovers. So um, check out that channel down there if you'd uh, if you like. Uh, link. I'll leave a link down below for it. Um, but uh, it is the apparition. Um, so like I said, it's not a bad movie. It was a pretty good movie, but compared to all the other movies I watched, it's the lowest amount. Like it's my lowest. It was my least liked of the of the bunch um and it wasn't a very well-known movie like i'm not gonna say it was a forgotten gem or anything but it was not as well known it's kind of it kind of it kind of came and went and uh i even forgot about it until i saw it in my collection and i was like "Ooh, i can do that for horror film lovers reviews so look out for my horror film lovers reviews it's gonna be like not horror film lover reviews it's gonna be Horror film lovers, first time watch Fridays. Those come back in. Um, uh, when else, when do they come back? Not sh they come back in April, but like I think it's the first Friday in April. So next this week coming up. All right. Uh, this should be uh, two days from now actually. So all right. So then after that is Hope Springs. That's number uh six. So Hope Springs, um, I did a Blu-ray Hunter reviews on it, and I liked it a lot. You know, I really enjoyed it. But it's once again, it's it's not my favorite of all these movies. So there you go, Hope Springs. Um, I uh, go watch that review because it was it was pretty good. It's a pretty good review of it. Um, then after that is uh, Saul Two. I actually watched Saul One on. YouTube, so I don't count that one. But Saul Two, I saw, um, I saw, um, I saw, uh, this uh, on Blu-ray. So I have the Blu-rays now of all of them. So they'll be coming each month. I will probably have at least two of them on my uh, rankings. So, um, and in all honesty, I'd probably put Saul One over Saul Two, um. Speaking of uh, sequels and number twos of movies, which sounds bad, but um, let's see. Uh, I, you know, it's it's really tough to decide. I don't remember when I gave each of these. Um, I so okay. So never mind. It's number three. So it's the one that's uh that that's missing right now, and that's. Army of Darkness. I'm going to put a little poster up there. Right there. So Army of Darkness. Um, Army of Darkness I really enjoyed, but it was not what... Uh, it, it was It was funny. It was funny, and it was fun, and it was, it was great. But... Um, and, and actually, I, I didn't like it much. I mean, I, I thought it was okay when I was younger but i really like it as an adult now watching it again having not seen it in so long uh and we talk about that on the horror film lovers one but this is the one i liked a little bit more i think evil did too i don't know why I, I like they're almost tied maybe um i really really like both of these because they're really funny and slapsticky and three stooges like and all the stuff that sam raimi likes so evil did too I think I'm gonna put that number was it three on my list and that one and Army of Darkness being four. So number three on my list is Evil Dead Two. So 
great movie. I mean, both of those are really high on my list of like favorites. So there you go. My number, uh, what is it? Number two movie is Friends of Eddie Coyle. That's the Criterion Watch movie. And I really, really enjoyed this movie. I had seen it before. And then I was like, okay, I got to pick that for Criterion Watch at some point. And then we did it for Criterion Watch, and I rewatched it again, and was like, ah, oh, still so good. Still a great movie. Um, classic Peter Yates film, I believe. Yeah, Peter Yates. Just a great film. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's number one on my list of these rankings. And number, no, number two on my list. Number one. My number one movie is Shooter. I'm only going to put like that because that's the only movie on it. And now I do plan on watching Four Brothers and maybe doing a review of that at some point. Not sure if I'll do one with John. We just did one for a shooter. Um, but I do want to review uh, Four Brothers at some point. But Shooter oh, is so good. This I mean, We both give it like a... If we said if we, if we had to give it a five-star rating, we'd give it a five. It's that good. Like, this is a damn good movie. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it, so... Shooter's number one on my list. Number two is Friends with Eddie Coyle. Number three is Evil Dead 2. Number four is Army of Darkness. Number five is uh, Saul 2. Uh, number six is Hope Springs. And number seven, the last but not least, is The Apparition, which I don't think it's least. It's just not... I mean, <laughs> a lot of times there's going to be a couple movies in my list, they're, they're going to be easy to put on the bottom because they're just nowhere near as good as some of those. So, like, movies that aren't Criterion, aren't Kino, or aren't whatever, like, those movies are probably going to get lower on the list. Now, the ones that are, like, more, you know, like, the better movies, those are definitely going to get up higher on the list. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I got for this. And, uh, so hope you like this uh, little video and uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's bring it back. Um, so I'll next month I'll do a brand new ranking. Hopefully I'll watch way more Blu-rays. Um, maybe 10. I just, I'd like to watch 10 a month if I can. Just to, just to have that as the ranking anyway. But also because 10 a month is a good amount of movies, especially new movies I've not seen. Like, I've never seen Shooter before, so that's great. Now I can put that on my list, you know? Um, so, we'll see. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me and let me know by giving me a thumbs up or a comment. Was I wrong? Were there ones that you would have put higher than the other ones? I don't know. Um, especially The Apparition. Would you have put that higher on the list? Um, I... I thought it was a, I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. Like, I saw so many bad reviews of it. So I was shocked that so many people, like, hated on it. But I enjoyed it. So uh, you'll see my whole review of it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. And let's talk soon. Bye.